In this video, I simply want to provide you um, the no definitions, notation, equation for all of the new statistics um, and in values that we're learning in Chapter 4. So let's begin with the term deviation, mean deviation to be more precise. So by definition, that represents the difference or distance between a score and the mean of a distribution. The variance is equivalent to the average squared mean deviation and the standard deviation represents the average distance difference between scores and the mean of that distribution. It's essential for you to understand the definitions of these new concepts so when you are using the equations they make more sense um, and when you understand the definition the application of the equations becomes much easier. So what I'm going to do next is just give you a brief summary of the notation and equation that are um, pertinent to a sample or a population. So we can have um, population statistics or parameters or the equations and then sample. So I just gave you the definition of mean deviation. So deviation for a population is x minus mu. For a sample, the deviation is denoted by x minus m. For a population, variance is lowercase Greek Sigma squared and that's equal to SS which is sum of squared deviations over N and I'll go into more detail of SS in just a second and variance for a sample for the sample is equal to S squared and our equation is s squared over ss <clears throat> over n n minus 1 or the same as ss over degrees of freedom standard deviation is lowercase greek um, letter sigma is equal to we can have the square root of our variance, which can also be stated as variance is equal to the square root of SS over N. Those are equivalent. And standard deviation for a sample is denoted by S, and that's equal to the square root of variance, which is the same as saying the square root of SS over n minus 1, which is also equal to, I'll write it down here, ss is equal to the square root of ss over degrees of freedom. And remember that this um, n minus 1, right, um, helps us increases estimated 
sample. Standard deviation. So it is more reflective. of the population standard deviation. Okay, so again, remembering that we divide by n minus 1 versus just n because we need to increase the um, variability demonstrated in the standard deviation. And we talk about it more, um, more readily when we're discussing variance, this part of the equation. Um, but the ultimate result is that the standard deviation is going to be more in line with the population variability when we divide by n minus 1. It's taking a biased statistic and creating an unbiased statistic. Now in terms of SS, the sum of square deviations, which is necessary to calculate variance um, and leads right into standard deviation, we have different computational formulas and definitional formulas for both sample and population. Okay, so for SS, sum of square deviations for a population, the definitional formula for SS looks like this. SS is equal to the sum of x minus mu squared. And for a sample, SS looks like this, S, um, the sum of x minus m, again that's the deviation squared. Okay, so note the difference is simply the notation for um, the average of a population versus the average of a sample. And my writing isn't always perfect, so um, let me just, so they don't look so similar to one another, which is hard to do um, when you're writing, but make this more um, peaked there, so that's a capital M versus mu in the population. The computational formula for SS for population is as follows. We take the sum of all x values that have been squared minus the sum of x squared over capital N. And for a sample, SS for the computational formula is very similar. The only difference is what we're dividing by. Instead of capital N, we're dividing by N. Okay, so again, once we calculate SS um, using either definition or computational formula, then calculating the variance is similar, uh, and then also calculating standard deviation, whether we're working population or sample. With the caveat of the sample variability always is divided by N minus 1, the degrees of freedom to make sure we are reporting an unbiased versus a biased statistic. So I'm hoping that this helps you keep everything organized because um, we do need to know the specific notation for samples versus populations and the equations that relate to these different concepts of variability. And um, you will have questions on your homework and quiz and exam um, where you're asked to identify the proper notation for the for a particular statistic that you're calculating.